Hello Grade 12s, today we'll look at inflation. Have you ever wondered why the cost of food, electronics and other items are always increasing? In this lesson we're going to investigate the impact of inflation. We'll also look at how inflation affects the purchasing power of money. And lastly, we'll look at how the value of an item decreases over time and the value of money in a bank account changes. The official inflation rate of South Africa is determined by Statistics South Africa and is published regularly in the media. Various factors affect the official published inflation rate. This official inflation rate is determined by the so-called basket of goods and services. When we talk about the rate of inflation in South Africa, we often refer the rate of the inflation based on the Consumer Price Index, or CPI for short. The South African CPI shows changes in price of a basket of goods and services which South African households purchase for consumption. The CPI is compared to previous years. If there's been an increase in average prices, this is called inflation. If there's been a decrease, this is called deflation. Let's look at how to calculate the inflation in the petrol price. Sango has kept track of the changes in price of petrol over the past few years. He asked us to investigate the percentage increase from 2007 where he paid 393 rand to fill up a 60 litre tank with petrol. In 2013, he paid 813 rand to fill up the same tank. To calculate the percentage of increase, we first need to find out how much more Sango has paid and then compare it to the original price. 813 minus 393 rand equals 420 rand. Now that we know the difference in cost, we need to divide by the original price and multiply it by 100. This will give us a percentage. 420 rand divided by 393 rand multiplied by 100 equals approximately 107,69%. Remember that the 100% shows the original price and the 7,69% is the percentage of increase. As you can imagine, when inflation goes up, our money is able to buy less and in other words, the purchasing power of the money goes down. Let's look at a more real example of this. In 2009, Sango was able to buy 10 pies for 100 rand. Four years later, he was only able to buy 8 pies with 100 rand. In four years, the buying power of 100 Rand has decreased so much that Sango was only able to get 80% of the pies as he was able to in 2009. The eroding effect is how the real value of money decreases over time due to inflation. Let's look at this in more detail. If an ice cream has a price of 10 Rand today, we pay 10 Rand for it. In a year's time, if the ice cream's price has increased by the 10% inflation rate, we will have to pay 10% more for it. In other words, we would now need 10 Rand and 10 cents to buy the item. This may seem a small amount, but if we are buying a motor car, the 10% inflation rate can make a big difference to the price of the car. Inflation has a major eroding effect on investments as it reduces the value of investment returns. Let's look at this in more detail. Sango's uncle invested 450,000 Rand in a fixed deposit account for a period of one year. The account paid interest at 6% per year at the end of every 12 months. The investment was made on the 1st of October 2010. He asked us to determine if his uncle's investment outperformed inflation. The inflation rate for this year was 5,65%. Let's see how this ate into the investment. If the bank paid 6% interest from October 2010 to September 2011 and the inflation rate for the same period was 5,65%, this means that effectively his uncle received 0,35% interest on his money. The actual value in the account will be 27,000 plus the original amount of 450,000 which equals 477,000 Rand. But as we know, this amount of money won't have the same buying power as it did when the money was invested. The real buying power of it can be calculated using the difference between the interest rate and the inflation rate. This means that the buying power of the final amount will be roughly equal to the buying power of 451,575 Rand on the day it was invested. This graph shows the difference between the bank interest rate, the inflation rate and it shows the real buying power of the investment. Thank you for joining us Grade 12s. Remember the task for this section can be found in the Working with Inflation, Interest and Banking Task video. You'll also be able to learn more on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.